In this video, we're going to take you through a 15 minute full body stretching routine specifically for badminton players with no equipment needed. It's designed for all levels of flexibility, so don't worry if you're not very flexible. As we're taking you through each exercise, we'll put a graphic on the screen as to why each of them is great for badminton. So let's get straight into it. We're starting with the neck as a lot of tension builds up here. So extend your right arm out, place your left hand on top of your head, and then slowly pull down until you feel a nice stretch through the right hand side of your neck. We're going to do each stretch for 30 seconds and make sure you keep breathing throughout as this is really important for flexibility training. Now switch over, lean your head to the right, extend your left arm out and use your right hand to assist with the stretch. As with all of these stretches, you don't want to overstretch as this can lead to injury. You want to feel a good stretch but never stretch through pain. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our hands and knees. And whilst keeping your bum in the air, lower down so that you feel a nice stretch through your lats. If you feel a little tighter in one side, maybe your racket arm side, then you can lean into the stretch a little more. And remember to keep breathing throughout the stretch. Okay, now slowly bring your right arm into a press up position. Bring your left arm out to the side of you and then lean into the stretch until you can feel it in your bicep and pec. To get more of a stretch here, you can really twist your body into it. Now come up and repeat on the other side. Now bring your right arm up and then thread your left arm underneath your body, keeping your palm towards the ceiling and then drop down so that you can feel a nice stretch in the back of your shoulder. Hold this for one or two seconds and then bring your left arm up and rotate towards the ceiling. Once again, hold for one or two seconds and then come back down and repeat. Now bring your left arm back to the center and bring your right arm under your body, your palm facing the ceiling, lean into the stretch and then rotate out towards the ceiling and keep repeating this.
Okay, moving on to one of my favorite stretches. So lower yourself down so that you're lying on the floor. And with your right hand, take your right foot and bring it towards your glute. Tight quads can cause all sorts of problems. And remember to keep inhaling and exhaling throughout the stretch. Okay, lower your right foot down and repeat the same stretch on your left side. Okay, next we're going to roll over and stretch our lower back. So onto your back, bring your right knee up and across your chest and then grab it with your left hand and pull gently down until you feel a comfortable stretch. And if you want to increase the stretch, you can look in the opposite direction. Okay, so swap to the other side. So bring your left knee up and across your chest and slowly pull downwards with your right hand. Again, to increase the stretch, you can look in the opposite direction. Okay, now we're going to sit up and straighten your legs out either side of you. And then you're going to walk your hands forwards until you feel a good stretch. Okay, so staying sat up tall, bend your right knee, followed by your left knee, and then lean over your right knee into this glute stretch. And to increase the stretch, you can lean over your right knee towards the floor, chest to the floor. I can't go that far, but I'm sure many of you will be able to. Now sit up once again and do exactly the same on the other side. So bend your left knee and your right knee and gently lean over your left knee towards the floor. Our glutes and hips are so important in badminton. So we're now going to move into a lying down position with your heels close to your bum. Bring your right leg up 
and place it on your left knee and hold. To increase the stretch, you can grab around the back of your left leg and gently pull towards your chest. Drop your legs down and swap over. As with any of these stretches, if you feel particularly tight in one, like I am here, then feel free to repeat this stretch after this video. Okay, let's keep going. We've got four more exercises to go. So move up slowly into a pike position with your heels off the floor. And then you're going to slowly lower your left heel down to the ground to feel a stretch for your calf and Achilles. Bring it up and do the same with your right leg. Okay, bring your right leg through now into a deep lunge position with your left leg on the floor. You're going to place your right hand inside of your right leg and then move your knee round to really sink into the stretch. If you want to increase the stretch, you can lower down onto your elbows, but I don't have that in me. Staying in this lunge position, you're going to raise your back and push your left hip forwards. And then you're going to bring your left arm over your head to increase the stretch. This is great for your hip flexors, which can get really tight if you're sitting down for long periods of time whether that's at a desk, when traveling, or just sat on the sofa. Now slowly swap your lunging position so that your left leg is in that deep lunge with your right leg on the floor. And once again, slowly move your knee round, sinking into the stretch. Okay, now come up, straighten your back, make sure your hips are square and push your right hip forwards. And then once again, bring your right arm over your head to increase the stretch. And that is time. We hope you've enjoyed this follow along video. 
Make sure you check out our resources in the description below. Of course, smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. And most importantly, well done.